how can I get out of this? The whole time everything is going on, all you're thinking about is a way out, really. Kind of, I mean, he was wearing my ass out to the point where, you know how they say you see the stars? Well, I saw the damn stars. He hit me so hard, I saw the stars on so many occasions. to stop that and get ready to do something else. But he never stopped hitting me because he thought he was hurting me. I'm just, I'm just grateful that I got away from that. I found you out like that, you just feel so trapped. Whenever I would get, get a beating or whatever, and he was stopped, it would never be because he was hurting me. That wouldn't be the reason why he was stopped. He might just stop because he was tired of hitting me or because he thought about right. something else he had. Mm -hmm. At least a dozen or more times. It's like a relentless cycle. You just do it over and over again. When somebody takes up your space and cries you out like that, you just feel so trapped. Just help us. After you get hit or after you get choked out, it's a certain feeling you have. While it's happening, you don't feel the like the physical pain because you're so focused. Als ich nach Amerika kam, hieß ich noch Bierling. Als ich nach Amerika kam, kam ich nur für ein Jahr. Als ich nach Amerika kam, konnte ich die Menschen kaum verstehen. Als ich nach Amerika kam, fühlte ich mich ungestört und selbstständig. It's not my choice to be in the land of choices. Yet, here I am, inhaling the air, you are exhaling. One of the first parties in my new life. I'm mingling with the crowd, laughing, drinking, chatting. Then I saw it. A four-digit number tattooed on the arm of an older man. I got sick. Inhaling the air. You are exhaling. He looks me straight in the eyes. And then he says, Oh yes, I know that city. We bombed the shit out of it. Nothing is built to last. Drive through liquor store. Drive through fast food. Drive through pharmacy. I exchanged my post for depressed generation to an anti war, dope smoking, free loving hippie culture. Hostile gazes, no credit history, no appetite for french fries, hamburgers, and coke. I can pick and choose from two sets of customs, manners, values, norms. It's liberating, but it's also a betrayal. I'm conflicted. I'm critical of both cultures, more tolerant and yet more impatient. Impatient with nationalistic arrogance and nationalistic guilt. Cheap entertainment. A nation wants to be entertained. Let's turn actors into politicians. Let's make reality shows. 
because life feels so artificial. Childhood memories do not include cupcakes, Thanksgiving or Halloween. My kids don't care for Bienenstich, St. Martin's Tag or Fasching. I recognize the Filipina maid, the Mexican dishwasher, the Indian cab driver, the Vietnamese dry cleaner, the Korean manicurist, the Pakistani 7-Eleven clerk. I am inhaling the air you are exhaling. Ranin nefes lehuatakum. Ich atme die Luft ein, die du ausatmest. Sie seist du, Maria, voll der Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes. Jesus, denn uns die Hoffnung stärke. Heilige Leib ist Jesus, denn uns die Liebe entzünde. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Wie groß ist, seist du, Maria, voll der Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes. Jesus, den du, Jungfrau vom Heiligen Geist, empfangen hast. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Grüße seist du, Maria, voll der Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und Gebenedeit. Grüße seist du, Maria, voll der Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und Gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes. Gebenedeit unter den Frauen und Gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes. Jesus, sind uns die Hoffnung stärke. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns in der Jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Throughout the many drafts of her proposal for a school for the arts, Margaret Armstrong always included one passage. It is not a budget entry or a curriculum note. It is a quote from the writer Catherine Ann Porter. The arts do live continuously and they live literally by faith. Their names and their shapes and their uses and their basic meanings survive unchanged in all that matters through times of interruption, diminishment, neglect. They outlive governments and creeds and the societies, even the very civilization that produced them. They cannot be destroyed altogether because they represent the substance of faith and the only reality. They are what we find again when the ruins are cleared away. There were children that were ready to be different. How do you create something that can flourish in the arts within this system that has been suffocating? There was no charter school law in Baltimore, or maybe even in the country. We expected artists to be well educated. To put us right smack 
dab where the library is and Peabody is and center stage. We were going to have children who will begin to be artistic in thinking about what they were going to do and what they were going to be, what they were going to become. I wanted to form a board of overseers. I needed somebody that was on the other side of the school system. The Board of Overseers was to manage and run the school, have special admissions, retention policies, hiring policies, curriculum. The all-important charter. The idea of School for the Arts popped into my mind. Schaefer would love this. When I brought him here and showed him was how physically this place would fit because of the ballroom and the stage. He wanted us to be able to do our own thing the way we saw fit. And the conservatory mindset, which of course I introduced to this school. He insisted on having arts professionals teach in the school. He set up this curriculum with a first class uh, academic education, the longer day. I was convinced that that's the way we would have to go. He cared. He said something to every kid or every kid said something to him. And I said, wait a minute, this is different. This is a different kind of place. Czechoslovakia. No, I should say Slovakia, but not the Czech Republic. Uh, cancer. Drowning. Now, heck you but to him? Lying. But I now am alone. Can someone read me the line, please? Deso Vibrio Africanus.